Well, hi guys, it's uh, Cabot Time Oregon, and uh, pfft, boy, been working. It has to happen around here once in a while, right? I can't just goof off all the time. So, let me show you what's going on today. Okay, hang with me. Okay, my next new wood pile all stacked up real pretty here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but a lot of these are 2 by 6s with a few 2x4s th two thrown in for good measure. 2x4s on top. All these down here on the bottom are 2x6s. Uh, also have a, a few more, almost a bunch of more. A bunch of more 2x4s over here. Some of them are probably 10, 12 feet long. Some 6 footers, but you know what? When they're given to you for free, Family members like Jim and Olivia call up and they say, hey, we got some extra wood laying around. Why don't you just come get it? I'm like, I'm in my truck and on my way. So thanks, Jim and Olivia, for the lumber. Uh, I was hurting for that loft. I need some 2 by 6s or something to put down for a floor. So next project. Okay, we're working on the loft. Let me back up here and give you a little idea on what we're looking at. Uh, wood stove straight ahead. So I'm in the doorway coming in. This piece here is just a brace for my uh, upper board. Then I put that board in across here. And what I'm going to end up doing is putting flooring on top of some of this. Because, uh, let me back up here and give you a better shot. What my intentions are, I got one board up mounted. I'm going to put some 2x6s up here. I'm going to have a ladder that comes and goes here in the doorway. So it can be probably two feet wide, maybe, that general area. And uh, they'll probably, this, this flooring is going to be probably two or three feet coming away from the wall. There'll be probably another board in the middle of these two, and then I can like board up part of that so I'll have a little section up in here and then I can maybe throw one or two uh, containers up here. I'll spin you around, voila, and there's the loft. So I'm going to start throwing lumber up. We'll see how she looks so hang on. Okay, moving right along. I've got four boards up. Look at there, there's a hole. Probably got to fill that or it'll be a trap door. We don't need a trap, trap door on the ceiling, we'd fall and get hurt. That would not be good. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to throw some more up there. Here we go. Okay. By golly. There's blue. Got him roped up, got cats roaming around. He likes to chase them, so I don't want him running off while I'm working. So he gets uh, on a long, probably 30 foot long rope. I mean, he's a working dog. I think I'm done for the day. It's about 5.30 in the evening. And uh, I'm over halfway done with this floor or loft floor whatever you want to call it by golly we're looking pretty good I'm happy with it my next tackle will be this hole over here and like I said earlier I'm not going to come out to this board I'm probably going to go halfway there I think and uh that will be a ladder going down that's going to be removable because it will be right smack here in our walkway which would not be good because Blue would be upset if I had a ladder in his walkway. So we're not going to do that people. We're going to make it removable. I can put it up, put it down because we won't be going up there very often. But I do believe in the corner there will be a two foot or so section up there shelving as well. And we'll just kind of bring, like I said earlier, th probably three boards out from the wall here. Just to kind of crawl up in and crawl sideways, whatever. But it's happening. It's happening. The loft. The loft. 
Hi, Blue. Hello, buddy. How you doing, Papa? I don't know if he's blurry or not. Well, outside, we've had three, four days of pretty good hard rain off and on. And today, the sun come out. And we're supposed to have three, maybe four days of for lucky dry weather. So we're hoping that's what happens. I just thought I'd give you a little bit of fall color here, out here in front of the cabin. Because like I say before, it's not going to be long. Now all this is going to be gone. We're going to be looking at a bunch of dead sticks out here on the trees. And that is not pretty. So there you go, folks. Oregon in October. Hi, Blue. Oh my, nice big stretch. You going to say hi to everybody, bub? Yeah? You want to say hello? Say hello to YouTube land, buddy. Say welcome to Oregon. Oh, that, that works. That works. Oh my. Thank you, bud. Happy Halloween. It's Halloween day. We are visiting the ghost of Cabin Time, Oregon. And Blue is here. Blue is a puppy dog. He's so scary with his big fangs. Yikes, Blue. Come here, Blue. The audience wants to look at you. Hey, it arrived. How about that? Well, happy Halloween, everybody. Guess what? There's no uh, trick or treat up here tonight. We have no candy. So don't even come. Don't knock on my door. Don't bother me in Blue. So we're about to have a weenie roast. My oldest grandson and my wife. That would be Diana. And my grandson Jacob. And I know you guys hear me talk about him all the time because the kid's around a lot. Okay? And he kind of enjoys all this cabin time stuff. So without further ado, right Blue? Thanks for that wet one, bud. Love you too, buddy. Yeah, love you too, bud. He loves hot dogs, by the way. So, we're going to get some hot dogs and cooking in the fire, and maybe I'll get a couple of shots of that, a couple of shots of us shoving food in our mouth, uh, because that's always fun to watch somebody eat and talk. But uh, we'll do some of that. Keep the old fire rolling. It's about 60 degrees, plenty warm, not really a cold night, by no means. But um, we thought since the wind ain't blowing 20, 30, 40 mile an hour, not raining. Uh, by golly, let's take advantage of this good weather, shall we? Had a family come up. Got my table on the deck. That here again, never done before. Something brand new. Table on the deck, at least on the full deck. Uh, so yeah, it'll be enjoyable, guys. So oh, stick with me. Smoke it all. Stick with me. I'll bring you more. Blue? Blue? This way, Blue. On command. Look at that. Look at that. Good boy, Blue. Blue at the cabin. He's my rambling dog, aren't you, Blue? You're a rambler. Okay, the moment we've been all waiting for. My loft. It is not finished. I think I'm about halfway there. But they are screwed down. They are permanent. And across that back wall there I got about three foot. So we can sit up in here. It'll be very comfortable at night. The kids want to come up and sleep up here. I do, however, have a few more boards that I will put in, and uh, I don't know if I have enough to finish this whole thing, but by golly, we're going to give it a good run. 
But I want to get up here on top, show you guys what it looks like from up above. Here's my opening. There's my window. Hey, look at there. There's a camp stove down there. What the? Uh, I think we're doing uh, baked beans for supper with our weenie roast. Blue. You probably can't. Uh, you can't see them through the screen. I don't think. Maybe you can. Yeah, you can. Okay, I see them. Good boy, Blue. I'm right here, pup. We're good, bud. We're good. We're just showing off my floor. Okay, bud. I'll get right back at you. Okay, guys. I'm gonna climb down here. Thanks for coming along to the loft. The very first time at the loft. Yeah, one camp stove, courtesy of uh, Mr. Dave Sanders. Another one of my big fans, been with me from, probably not day one, but probably day two. He's been with me a while, loved the show. He's a pretty active member, uh, gives me a lot of goodies that are camp related. And I thank you for that, Dave. This was a camp stove that he had for many years and had not used a lot. And he donated it to Cabin Time, Oregon. So thanks, Dave, appreciate it, buddy. Well, company has arrived. Look at here. It's the wife driving the Jeep. What the? Howdy, Shug. Trick or treat. Yeah, there you go. Happy Halloween. There goes Blue. Boom. Out of rope, buddy. Out of rope. It's 30, 40 feet long. He's got a lot of rope, but not enough to get to her. All right, bud, I'm coming to help. Here we go. Okay. Okay. We're at the cabin. I got Diana, my wife, up here doing a little cooking. This is the first time ever that uh, we've done any kind of a meal prep cook in the cabin. And look who's doing the first cook. I got the, the wife. Boss. The boss. The boss lady's up here. Woo! <laughs> I love it. So right now, what are we doing? We're boiling water for mac and cheese. Well, I guess you got to boil the water first, don't you? Looks like uh, Mr. Dave stove is working just fine there. Got a blue flame cooking underneath there. We'll see how this all turns out. Looks like the macaroni's getting there. She's got her a good boil going. Oh, yeah. Won't be long now. Showing you a picture of the grub that we're going to eat tonight. We got the Franks. We got smoked sausage. Take your pick your poison. Pick your poison, right? Because it's Halloween. Look, we got a pitcher of blood. I mean, Kool-Aid. Not blood. And more blood called ketchup. I mean, ketchup, chips, oh, there's Cousin It stealing the chips. Look at that, would you? Is that it or the thing? It's the hand. The thing. Ooh. We have time ribbon horseradish. And it tastes kind of horseradish-y. And they are very good. Blue approves. Mmm. Oh, it's good. It's little, I know. What the? Jacob was making his food. I'm about to say some racial slur over there. <laughs> no audio. <laughs> oh boy. Let me kill the video. I'm going to kill it.
pile be gone? We used them all up. At least the stuff I just brought in the other day. Old stuff still here. Plus a few 2x4s, of course. Well, up here at the cabin, finishing up. He's seen my roof job. Very happy with that. Tickled to death. That's going along very nicely. So, just up here enjoying a cup of joe. At the cabin on a rainy day, because it's not the same day I was doing the roof roof uh, job or my ceiling job. Different day, different temperature too. By God, it's uh, in the high 40s, so pretty cool today. Anyway, happy with my progress, and want to say uh, adios, and we will see you guys on the next one. But remember, live your life carefully, would you? And thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me out here in Reagan. Appreciate everybody out there watching. Thanks for being here. Like I said, we'll see ya. Y'all take care, huh?